There's a slow and hard way to creating video memes and then there's the fast and easy way. When I first got started, I was looking at how-to videos on YouTube and they all told me to use the phone with all of these weird free apps and always trying to do it the free way. And then there's like free programs on Google that you can find, but as you use them, you have ads popping up everywhere. You have no idea if you, what you're downloading has viruses in it or anything like that. And if you try and download videos directly from TikTok, then they end up with a watermark that looks exactly like that. So I knew there had to be a better way. There's a change happening right now with content where people are getting a little bit tired of just having straight up educational content all the time with no character. People want to laugh. People want to feel a little bit of character from the people who are creating content. So that's why memes are so good to hack into the culture of where content is at right now in order to make sure that you stay relevant. You need something to get out of the box of like being straighty 180 all the time and, and doing things in the formal way. Like let's have some fun and create some cool with our content. That's basically what I'm getting at. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we use this workflow that we built inside of Airtable using make.com, using some AI automations, using Canva in order to create memes very easy. So let's dive in. I'm gonna give you an example of how we can do that. So here's a video here on TikTok. And all I need to do is grab the URL in the bar there and come into our Airtable template, click this plus button and add the TikTok URL here. Click submit. And then all that does now is create a new record inside of Airtable with that information. Then I'm just going to select our paddle brand here and we're going to go extract video. So this then triggers an automation that pulls that video from TikTok without a watermark, uploads it to Canva, uploads it to ChatGPT so we can transcribe it, and then also uploads it back into the Airtable base here. So we can see the transcribed video is here and then we just need to add in our topic of paddle. So from there, we then choose our AI model and I'm going to use Claude 3.7 because that is by far the best one that I've found for creating memes at least. And we're going to go generate headlines. So that's now going to trigger a second automation that looks at the transcript. It looks at the topic of paddle. It looks at some of the brand assets and some win winning meme examples that we put in, uh, in the brand asset stage, which I haven't done in this video. There's other videos where you can go check that out if you do wish. But now it has generated a few possible headline ideas so that I can get off to a really fast start creating these memes. Now, I might not use the headlines exactly as they are. It might help inspire my own ideas. But this is so much easier than when I was trying to do it on my phone. Like the, the how-to videos of showing me how to use CapCut and these other types of apps and then trying to like figure out how you can edit it on your phone. It's so slow. And it was taking me like 20 to 25 minutes to create a meme, just one single meme. And I know myself and you probably are similar to me where... If things aren't easy to do, if the tech is hard, if, if you've got to do a whole bunch of editing on your phone that takes forever and it takes 25 minutes per video, I'm not going to stick with it. Like we're creating at least five to 10 memes per 25 minutes in these using this type of workflow. So this is why this is so important. The, the reason why you want a workflow, a technical workflow like this is because it makes you stay consistent. Consistency is key when it comes to creating content and this system allows you to move so much faster and allows you to stay consistent. So let's see if we can find so a good headline for this, which is, I was so looking forward to that and it did not go as I thought it would. So when your partner says, I got this, no, first time trying to smash, no, POV, no. The moment me practice serves for two hours, what I think I look like versus what I actually look like playing paddle, that one's pretty close. When your non-paddle friends finally agree to try the sport, my confidence level before versus after, uh, trying to press your crush, how it feels, missing an easy shot after talking trash to your opponents. So the, none of those are that good. I'm just going to give it another generation, but I, I do have my own idea as well. Let's see if we can find that in a previous one. So this was generated in the previous one before I actually hit record. I did a full presentation before I hit record on the recording tool and AI generated this headline in that one. So I'm just going to pop that there, but let's see if it's generated anything better the second time round. That moment you're ready for advanced paddle group, three tutorials, it's basically all the same. Your brain imagining the perfect smash versus your body actually executing it. Not bad. Just one more game. When you think paddle is, is as easy as tennis, is easy, my paddle skills in my head versus reality. That's, yeah, that's pretty much what I've already got. Paddle skills in my head versus paddle skills in real life. 
I think it's the exact same, same as that, but this one's probably just labeled a little bit better. So we're going to take that headline and then we're just going to go, go into Canva design file. And here we have all the memes that I've been creating over the last month. Now I'm just going to skip along to the end one and we're going to use this one here. So I'm just going to grab an existing line. Uh, that's not it. And we're going to go grab this. We're going to paste this one in here first. And we're going to split that up like that. And then we have here that video ready for us inside of our Canva account. So we didn't have to move it into our Canva account. It was all done via automation. Automation is the key to 10xing your productivity when it comes to using these types of tools and creating content and building these types of workflows. Automate the hard parts. That's what allows you to stay consistent. If you don't automate them, then eventually you're going to fall off the bandwagon like you have for the 15th time in the last two years. And I know because I spent the first seven years of my online career doing exactly the same thing. So we have that video now. We have our headline. We just need to download this video. So we're just going to go current page, done, download. And while that's downloading, we come back into our system here. And we can choose now to create a caption and first comment to upload into our platforms like YouTube, like Instagram, like TikTok, and like Facebook Reels. So we're going to do all of that. Next, we're going to choose also a date to publish this video. So we're going to choose next Friday. And now we're just going to fill in the caption and first comment. So we have these ideas here in this section. So usually in the first comment, I'll do like a follow. And then usually I'll do like tag your paddle partner. So we're just going to add those two in. I don't get caught up on those because most people are not going to read them anyway. So perfect timing. We've now just got the downloaded file. So we upload that Canva file into the final video field. And then as soon as that has been processed, we can then click upload to social media. It will allow that button to be ready. So upload to social media. It's going to post on the 4th of the 4th. And then we can see along here, it's been uploaded to all of those channels. And we can check, so we can go into our Metricool account and we can check that it actually has been done. So we're going to open up the calendar here, come across on to the 4th of the 4th. And there is the video right here. So take your partner who always promises an epic shot. And there's the video there that we just created. So there we go. I did all of that in what, like seven or eight minutes. And if this was me not explaining the video on camera, I probably would have done that in like three minutes. That's how we can get like 10 done in 25 minutes because we get into a rhythm, we understand the workflow, we have our memes, we have a few different pages, we can download the memes and it makes life so much easier. So if you're a content creator, a social media manager, someone who wants to grow your following, then you should definitely look at building these types of workflows. So we could build them for you. We have this template available where you can do it yourself for a very tiny one-time fee. We could even build this for you into your own systems for you for a very small one-time fee. So you can check out all of those details on the website if you do wish, or you can watch these videos on my channel where you go through the full tutorial of how it all works. Completely up to you, but make sure you use automation so you stay consistent. See you in the next video.